Shalom, 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 Israel, giving all praise to Yahweh. Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Bachak, and Dash. The Bible said, I'll just jam as we will say, it takes to you. I came out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity, risking freedom in your life to do so. More so now than ever before. Um, because we are at the end, we are close. Um, you know, I meant to do a video on this sooner, but I'm glad I waited because, you know, the Lord is. Um, been punishing the earth, man. The Lord is officially starting to visit the earth um, with judgment, with judgment. Because, um, you know, they have profaned his name. He's been very quiet and silent with the dealings on earth and the manners of what's taking place in the matters. So now he's starting to move. Now he's starting to judge. Let's get the scripture. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. Now, when the scriptures say Lord of hosts, host literally means armies, okay? So the Lord is the, 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 the supreme being of armies, okay? He's a man of war, according to Exodus 15 and 3. So he's going to visit, meaning he's going to judge the earth. You know, he's not going to visit, meaning he's going to come down with a suitcase, um, suitcase well-dressed um, to show up at your doorstep. Looking for a night to spend uh, to spend a night. No, he's going to visit you, meaning he's going to judge. He's going to judge the earth with thunder. We see that a lot, like heavy thunders, you know what I'm saying? Shaking the earth. Uh, with earthquakes, we've seen that. Um, uh, Syria got hit with an earthquake not too, not too long ago. Syria got hit. Well, I think with like a seven point or eight point something, you know, devastated. 50,000 people died. You know what I'm saying? Got got crushed or fell in between the, the rubble. You know, so the Lord is visiting with earthquakes. With great noise, okay? Yeah, shake, shaking the earth, you know. Uh, with storm and tempest, yeah. A lot of tornadoes, hurricanes, those are storms. Getting hit, flooding people out. You know what I'm saying? And flame with devouring fire. That, that happened during um, Maui. Maui, Hawaii. They got hit with... um. What what a what a what a um what a what a firestorm, all right? Now so so we, we established that the Lord is visiting the earth with these uh devastating catastrophes. You see? So as you can see, man, look. And the Libyans is not Israelites, okay? They're heathens. And the Lord doesn't care about the the Libyans, obviously. Um but it says, uh, this is from NBCnews.com. Death toll hits 11,300 in Libyan, Libyan city destroyed by floods. A precise tally of rising number of people killed is incredibly difficult to compile given the level of destruction in Derna and a chaotic political situation in the region. At least 11,300 are now believed to have died after torrents of water ripped through eastern Libya. A devastating toll that could largely have been avoided, global officials said Thursday. Mary L. Dries, Secretary General of Libyan Red Crescent, told the Associated Press by phone that a further 10,100 had been reported missing in the ruined city of Derna. Earlier, city officials said the death toll could reach 20,000. You see, so the Lord is really uh, putting his anger on the earth, and this is this is small fry, man. Because when the Lord angry, it's millions of people that die. All right, so the Lord is really showing mercy um, to this event. A precise tally of the rising number of people killed is incredibly difficult to compile, given the level of destruction and the chaotic political situation in the region. With bodies still washing up on the shore and burials being held in mass graves, as Rescuers searched underwater and under rubble. Fears grew that rotting bodies could lead to deadly outbreak of diseases. So not only are they dealing with um, the flood situation that flooded them out, they got to deal with um, rotting corpse spreading out diseases. That's why the scripture has the law about um, burial. You have to bury the dead bodies because you can spread a lot of um, contagious diseases just on the, the, the decaying bodies alone, you see? So the law is perfect in, in every way. It said death toll could still soar. 
A doolage of rainfall from Mediterranean storm Danube caused two dams to collapse, sending the waves more than 20 feet high through the heart of Derna, a port city in the country's east. More than 7,000 residents were wounded, ambulance service spokesman Osama Ali told NBC News. Numbers have varied depending on which official has provided them, though all put the toll well into thousands and Derna's mayor has said it could be more than triple as search teams and survivors find more bodies in the ruins. In quotations, the situation is very large and surprising for the city of Derna. We were not able to confront it with our capabilities that preceded the storm and the touring. His office said that the numbers of those killed could hit 20,000, around fifth of the city's population. So that's <laughs> fifth. That's what is it, fifth or 25 percent? I'm not sure. But that's a lot of people. Look at the devastation, man. You can see in the pictures that this was once, you know, a prosperous area. They had a lot of buildings, homes, a lot of residents. And it's flooded. Around a fifth of the city's population, based on estimates of those living in the area that were swept away. Most of the deaths could have been avoided if authorities had better warning systems in place. The United Nations Weather and Climate Agency said Thursday, no, it couldn't have been avoided because this is the judgment of the Heavenly Father. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12. Uh... Let me see, Salakia. Um, give me one second. I'm looking for the scripture I wanted. Tss, tss, nope, nope, nope. This ain't it. One second, one second, one second, one second. Um, okay, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon 12 and 22. Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, who's the us? This is um, Solomon speaking about, you know, the Lord chastening the children of Israel because the Lord only knows the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why we feel his judgments. That's why we feel his punishments. As soon as we go off, we constantly, we, we constantly feel it. We go into slavery. We fall by the hands of our enemies. We go through the fire because we're his children. The heathens don't feel it immediately. All right, they they eventually catch their judgment at once, but when when Israel goes off, they constantly get judged immediately, see or quicker, and, and that or less. So he said, therefore, whereas thou chasten us, thou scourge of our enemies a thousand times more. So when the enemies finally do get judged, they get hit all at once, and then it, it just be um, devastation unheard of. You see, to the extent that. When we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness. And we, when we ourselves are judged, we should look for thy mercy. Right. So when judgment do finally come, we, we, we can look for mercy. And then when it's time to give judgment, we can um, consider the ways of the Heavenly Father that he had mercy. You see. So this is this is, you know, this is the Heavenly Father judging um, the enemies of Israel a thousand times more. You see. Anybody outside the nation of Israel is the enemy of Israel and the enemy of the Heavenly Father, okay? Um, and it's specifically how you treated the Israelites, okay? Which is Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Isaiah 13 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and, their, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. That's plain and simple. Over Diet 1 and 16, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they should drink and they should swallow down and they should be as though they had not been. And that's really talking about, you know, Esau, you know, going down, slavery. Uh, it's going to be as though he's never been in power. But, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. This, this is the Lord's judgment, man. And it's, it's starting to really come down like a hammer. Look at this devastation. Look at this devastation. This is, this is, you can't even recover from this, man. Millions of dollars, years of progress, uh, building these buildings, uh, flooded out in, in a few hours. It's crazy. So with that, all praise to Al-Bashim Al-Shah, the monster, the elders, Jim Mass, salutations to Akim. Till next video, shalom.